maybe it is what you guys don't connect with so much, but I'm here to tell you that it's okay to feel a little bit more. As an American, you guys smoke a lot, okay? News flash, you guys smoke a lot. Now, you guys, I mean the country in general. Loose sheets, the reason why we use loose sheets is because maybe like in the middle of the night you're hot and you don't want to have to use your duvet but you still want to get covered. Well, you take the duvet down and you just lose the use the loose sheet. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joey and in today's video, we are going to be talking about what things the Netherlands could learn from the United States of America. Now, before we do get this video started, I am going to ask you if you can help me out, please, of reaching my goal of 10k subscribers by July. Why, you're asking? Because in July, it is my one year YouTube anniversary and I would love to hit that goal of 10k subscribers. So, like I said, if you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Habanero, habanero. And I will love you more than I did last time yesterday and even the second before you hit that subscribe button. If you are already subscribed to me and you do have an idea of what I can do for my 10k um, anniversary whenever I hit my 10k, comment below because I'm looking for like fun ideas, fun videos to make, fun things to do with my subscribers um, to hit this milestone for myself. So yeah, comment below, subscribe, habanero, and let's get this video started. Now, there are a couple of things that I think the Netherlands could really learn from the United States of America. In most of my videos, I always talk about things that I love about the Netherlands that are better than in the United States of America. Now, some of you guys have asked me, okay, like we get it, you love the Netherlands, you love Amsterdam, like it's so much better, but what are things that we, the Dutch, could learn from the Americans, and I've got some for you today. I do want you to understand that just because I tell you these things doesn't mean that America is perfect, that America is healthy, and that America is amazing, because I know I'm gonna say some things, and I'm gonna get some comments saying, yeah, but America isn't healthy, or yeah, but America sucks. We understand that. <laughs> Let's get that out of the way. The first one is smoking, all right? Listen, maybe here in the Netherlands you think like, oh, we used to smoke a lot more, but now we don't smoke a lot. Well, as an American, you guys smoke a lot, okay? News flash, you guys smoke a lot. Now, you guys, I mean the country in general. So just to put it into perspective, in 2017, there was a research done that stated that 17.2% of Dutch adults smoke. Now, 17.2%, uh, that's kind of a low number, right? In 2017, the same research was done in America, and 14% of the American population smokes. So, 14% versus the 17%, okay? 3% is what the Americans are lower than the Dutch. Now, why? That is because whenever I was younger and whenever, and even now, we have all of these campaigns against smoking. The American pop, uh, the American government spends a lot of money on anti-smoking um, ads, anti-smoking campaigns. Um, when you are little, you have um, to sign all these contracts in, in school to say that you're not gonna smoke. And um, there's like famous people on uh, commercials making fun of people who smoke. So anyways, we really get into the whole smoking thing and we really just kind of attacked it, which is why we have a lower percentage in the United States. Now, uh, Smoking causes cancer, uh, duh, we know that. Smoking has uh, many side effects, many issues, and not only for the people who smoke, it's also for the people who are in the room of those who smoke. Like, how many times have I been in a cafe when there's people smoking around me and I'm like inhaling all of the smoke and I don't really like that. Now, 
Whatever your opinions are about smoking or not, scientifically speaking, we know that it is not healthy. We know that it causes a lot of damage to your body. So I just don't know why you guys keep doing it, Dutch people. Can you please comment below and answer me, like, why do you guys still smoke? Why are there teenagers still smoking? Like, why is there not more ads or more campaigns against this? I'm confused. So that is a big thing that you guys can learn from the United States. The anti-smoking campaigns, the anti-smoking culture, I think would really help out. Moving along to something a little bit lighter, beds. Okay, beds. Maybe you have not been to the United States, but let me tell you about the United States bed. Okay, that means like where we sleep. We have, I'll put a picture of it, we have a sheet, a fitted sheet, and then we have a loose sheet over it, and then we have your duvet, okay? Now, the duvet is much longer than the bed, and you're probably wondering why. If, okay, I've been to a lot of Dutch people's houses, well, not a lot of Dutch people's houses, but every Dutch person's house that I've been to, the duvet is almost the perfect size of the bed. It doesn't fall, or if it does fall on the sides, it's a little bit. For us, it falls a lot, like it's really a lot of duvet. Why? Because when there's two people sleeping, sleeping in it, it's less of a hassle of like almost getting the corner. I just don't know why. And you also don't use sheets. Loose sheets. The reason why we use loose sheets is because maybe like in the middle of the night you're hot and you don't want to have to use your duvet, but you still want to get covered. Well, you take the duvet down and you just lose the use the loose sheet. And also, it's more of a barrier, more sanita sanitary, because the loose sheet you can throw in the wash easier than taking off your duvet cover, putting it in the wash, putting your duvet cover. I mean, how hard is it to put on a duvet cover? I hate it. So... I think you guys can really learn about the way we make our beds. It's just, I think, more sanitary and much more comfortable. We also have like 500 more pillows, which is so, so nice because you can just like lay in it and it's like a pillow heaven. The next one is the whole thing of the Junior Mall, which is a little play on that. It is okay to be extra. It is okay to be crazy, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong in uh, wanting to be a little bit abnormal. There's nothing wrong in wanting to stand out. There's nothing wrong in thinking that you're amazing. There's nothing wrong in having big dreams. There's nothing wrong in just being a little more extra. Um, that's a big thing that the Netherlands can learn from the United States. Now, the, everything has its limits, but I think that you guys can be a little more extra. You guys can be a little more like crazy, a little more okay with standing out, a little more okay with like having big dreams and uh, feeling special and you know, I think that that's okay. In America, we all have big dreams. We are born and raised with it. We all think we're amazing. We all think we can conquer the world. And whatever your opinion with that, that belief is really fire and really a nice belief to have to really get your dreams and get your goals and like just be on top of it all. And just to be more comfortable with being a little crazy. Because like gay used to be crazy and it's okay to be gay, but now there's more things that are still maybe not okay, but should be okay, you know? So I just think that a big part of the Dutch culture is about being really blending in, and I myself think that you guys could learn from the Americans on not blending in, right? Like, who wants to blend in? Why do you want to blend in? Like, just be extra, be loud, be crazy, who cares, right? That's my opinion. Lastly, Going on that one as well is that it's okay to be in touch with your feelings. Now, let me elaborate on this a little bit more because you guys might be like, whoa, I don't understand. We, we are in touch with our feelings. But from an American perspective, um, you guys brush a lot of things off as like, just like, mm, it's okay. You know, like, oh, that's fine. I don't know how to explain it, but... It's as if you guys have a filter on your feelings that doesn't allow you to feel a little bit more or like be one more version of happy or like be one more version of sad or be open about like, yeah, 
depression or be open about when you feel sad or be open and just like one extra step further where the Americans are like five steps further, you know, like we are very open about being happy and being extra, move that bus. Nick hates that TV show, but like why, right? It's because of the extreme feeling and like the expression of the extreme feeling that maybe it is what you guys don't connect with so much, but I'm here to tell you that it's okay to feel a little bit more, to be a little bit more open about the way you feel. We all feel sad, it's okay. Be sad, feel open to being sad. Do you get what I'm saying? Now, maybe you don't agree with everything that I'm saying in this video, and that's totally, completely okay. And I love to open up discussions so that we can learn from each other. So comment below on your opinions about this. And I think there's definitely going to be a part two to this video because there's a lot more that I think the Dutch could learn from the Americans. But for now, that is all the time that we have. Um, give me a like, subscribe, comment below, open up a conversation, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!